What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Daniel's 9 to 5. I haven't done this in quite a while, but I have an interesting topic that I want to talk to you guys about. There goes my dog Yamato. Come here Yamato. Come here. Up. Up. Hi Yamato. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, so anyways, so I have an interesting that topic I want to talk to you guys about and that is the 72 hour water fast. And some of you guys might be asking, what is a 72 hour water fast? Well, it is where you don't consume any kind of calories at all, but you drink water. Some people drink coffee, some people drink tea, but the main idea of the water fast is that you don't take any kind of calories in at all. And there's a few disclaimers that I'd want to get out there before we start the video and everything. So very first disclaimer is I am not a doctor. I am not a health guru and I'm not a biologist and I don't know, I, I'm not, I, I'm not, I don't have a specialty in all those fields or anything. I'm just Daniel Earl Johnson who has done a water fast for eight months now and I, I haven't, I, I've been eating but in every month I like to do a 72 hour water fast and so I'm speaking from my own experiences and my own research that I've done. And secondly, this is not a golden ticket for you to lose weight. You are not going to lose weight doing a water fast. And the weight that you do see yourself losing is actually water weight. You're just going to get all that weight back as soon as you finish the fast. And thirdly, it is not a fix all. You're, it's not going to help fix. You're not going to see any kind of, how do you say? You're just not going to see any kind of, um, anything out of it really you're not going to see a bo your body change you're not going to see your health get better you're not going to see any of that kind of stuff during the 72 hour water fast and honestly you might even feel like crap during the 72 hour water fast because you're not eating our body's not meant like our body we're not used to not eating so why would someone want to do a water fast well i'm glad you asked so the key points of doing a water fast at least from my experience is that one you learn discipline. You, we are so used to eating out of habit and not out of necessity. So to me, that means that when pe when we go out to eat, it's just out of habit. We just go out to eat for breakfast. We go out to eat for lunch. We go out for eat dinner, but we don't really need to eat. But we eat anyways, and we eat those sneaky snacks in between. <laughs> and so doing a water fast teaches you the discipline to not continuously eat when you don't need to eat. And secondly, it gives your kidneys a break. Can you imagine just pumping iron 24-7, nonstop, no break at all? Well, that's pretty much what our kidneys go through. We eat so much that our kidneys are always working, always moving, always like, do, like doing what the kidneys do. Again, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I don't know a lot of the things that the kidney does, but it gives our kidneys a chance to, you know, Lay out the beach blanket and just chill, relax, get some R&R &R in. And it helps, it, it just helps us in the end. And thirdly, it's a, it's, and this is the biggest thing, is ketosis. Doing a 72 hour water fast gets our body into a state of ketosis. Now, this doesn't mean much if all you're gonna do is go back into eating junk food and eating sugars and eating carbs again. Ketosis isn't gonna mean anything. But you see the bigger benefits when you just stay on ketosis afterwards. But we'll get more into that later on. So let's take a step back and then I'll talk to you guys about why I believe that water fasting is actually good for you. So our ancestors, they didn't eat every day like how we do. And if they were lucky enough, they ate only once a day. If they were lucky enough, sometimes they went even longer periods of time without eating. So our bodies are actually evolved into not needing to eat as much food. But again, in today's era where we have access to so much food, we are continuously eating, continuously taking in foods which isn't bad but the kind of foods that we are taking in are mostly carbs and sugars a lot of sugar especially in the american diet where almost everything we eat has sugar in it now this is bad because what happens is that since we're continuously eat or 
since we're continuously eating and it's always sugars, our body is mostly burning the sugar. Our body likes sugars and carbs more because it's easier for it to burn and it's easier for it to use. And so it, we are, how do you say? We are continuously eating this sugar and continuously putting it into our body and our body doesn't always use all the sugar and plus on top of the proteins and all the other things that we eat, our body is, are using all those things. So it stores it into our cells and everything and it turns it into fat. But again, since we are in our era, we are, we are continuously always eating, we are never using any of this stored energy at all. You okay, Yamato? You good? Hi, she's such a good dog. But we are we are never using any of the stored energy so what fasting does it allows our body to go into ketosis and what ketosis is is where it turns all that fat into energy for our body to use again which is good because when we don't use that energy it's kind of like like when you leave something in the fridge for too long it's going to expire it goes bad well the same thing for ourselves all those things go bad so our body needs to use it and get rid of it and the only way for it to use it and get rid of it is by going into ketosis and that, that's pretty much like i guess the layman's turn of it all um if you are more into the scientific mumbo jumbo I'm gonna, I, I have it down written right here, which I would read it to you guys, and this would be a lot better explaining it. So, after discussing the contrast between ancestral eating patterns and today's constant access to food, particularly sugar and carbs, it's essential to understand how our bodies process these nutrition, nutrients. Normally, when we consume carbohydrates, our bodies convert them into glucose. Glucose is the body's preferred source of energy because it's readily accessible. It's like kindling that ignites quickly and burns hot for a short period. But we, when we consume more glucose than we need, the excess is stored as gly glycogen in the liver and muscles. Once those stores are full, the body begins converting the leftover glucose into fat. This fat is stored in adipose tissue, our long-term energy reserve. However, in a, in a lifestyle where we rarely tap into these reserves, the fat can accumulate. Moreover, if we're constantly feeding our bodies simple carbs and sugar, we're not just accumulating fat, we're also missing out on the essential nutrients that come from a more balanced diet rich in protein and fats. Proteins, for instance, are crucial for repairing tissues and making enzymes and hormones. Fats are vital for absorbing vitamins, cushioning organs, and providing a more sustained energy source. When we opt for a water fast, it's like we're sending our, a signal to our body to switch gears, to stop relying on quick glucose and start burning the fat stores for energy. This process is called ketosis. In ketosis, our body breaks down fatty acids, resulting in the production of ketone bodies, which can be used in, as an alternative energy source. It's a more gradual and sustained burn, akin to using logs instead of kindling for the for a fire this shift can have various effects on our body which may include improved metabolic metabolic flexibility and some and some suggest it could lead to benefits such as improved concentration and decreased inflammation yet it's crucial to remember that the process of shifting into ketosis and utilizing fat stores can be complex and should be navigated carefully, preferably under professional guidance to ensure it's done safely and effectively. So yeah, that is the breakdown of why I fast and why I really want to talk to you guys about fasting and even the ketosis part. So the reason I fast is because I want to get into ketosis and I want to stay in ketosis. I usually, for at least last month, I stayed in ketosis for two weeks. 
this month i'm actually going to try to stay in ketosis for three weeks we'll see how i do i'll see how i feel during it all but last time i actually started seeing that i was losing weight i went from 198 to 187 and that wasn't just water i was losing because i was also eating after the my 72 hour water fast and the reason i want to go into ketosis is because i'm i want to start burning off that stored energy or that stored fat that i have that as it was saying and like i said ketosis has a lot of other benefits that i i looked into again it's inflama inflammation um it's like brain health and everything the ketosis helps with brain health and stuff like that and, and many other things that i mean i could look it up but you know i'm just yeah i don't know but I just wanted to talk to you guys about ketosis and what the 72 hour water fast and why I think that we should do a 72 hour 72 hour water fast because again we live in a, in a generation or in an era where food is vastly accessible to us and we overeat ourselves and we put ourselves in unhealthy situations where we don't really need to be so it's learning the discipline to really take a step back and just eat what is necessary for us to be able to carry on with our daily lives the only the only true reason why even a lot of athletes and a lot of like just a lot of athletes and a lot of runners eat a lot of sugar and a lot of carbs is because they need that energy to do that sport during that time but for us human like for us regular people for us people not doing those intense high intensity sports we don't really need to take in all those carbs and all those sugars and everything because again we're not going to end up using it all and it's all just going to get stored into fat and us continuously eating how we do it actually is a cause i mean there's a lot of reasons why there is diabetes but that is one of the main reasons why we have diabetes is because we overeat and we overwork our kidneys. So giving our kidneys the time to really just relax and do what it needs to do and not keep producing insulin is good for us at the end. But yeah, that's really all I wanted to say about ketosis, our, about a 72 hour water fast. Um, I'm happy that I got to do this and I got, I'm happy I got to share my knowledge with you guys. And if you guys have any other questions, be more like leave a comment. I'll be more than happy to do some more research and answer, answer the questions that you guys have. All right, um, I think I'm just gonna end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a beautiful one. Let's just keep striving and becoming better. Let's become better people towards each other and just better in our daily lives every single day. That's all we can really do and that's all I ask for. So you guys know what? Take care. Peace out. Deuces.